Welcome back to the third part of the Cryptocurrency Heated Pool project. Okay, so a car radiator into an aluminum frame. Well, it needs to be pretty solid because this will contain about 10 liters of water. So it will be pretty heavy after all. So we had to mount it with all the screws the radiator has. So it would be just the same as in a car. Okay, but first, a lot of you guys have been asking me before I show you the spinning thingies that you want to see the full video on how to do this so i show you guys here that i was doing some serious cable management all the fans have three pin connectors and i had to connect these three pin connectors to some sort of splitters that go to a single one and then i connect the single ones to another splitter and so on and so on until i ended up with a single four pin connector so i used a little cable thing from aluminum that i made just to hold the cables but there were so many cables that it was even getting hard to do that because we need to put a lid on this machine i haven't even given it a name yet let's just call it the kraken or something or you can just post it in the comments below how you would call this machine but there were so many cables that my dad even had to cut a few things out of the aluminum just to fit the cables inside there because it was getting so bumped up with cables so i started move removing the really sharp aluminum <laughs> And I stuck in the cables in there because we are gonna put a lid on this and if the cables are popping out I think the lid will come off really easily with these EVGA leftovers from the power supplies I started stuffing in between the radiator and the fans because there was a slight gap between them and to optimize the airflow I started stuffing them in just to make the airflow a little bit better going through the radiator so we also had to make something to keep away the dust from the fans and the radiator so we made a slide system that we will fit with some sort of filter in the end okay so now that the fans were running and whatsoever we came to an idea that we could compact this machine because it was gonna be one meter wide that we're gonna break it down and make it a little bit more smaller than it was gonna be used to so we started cutting the pieces off and reassembling the whole rig and Eventually, we came to this really slick, small design that's gonna fit into a room way more easily. So now that we have finished our electronic parts and almost everything on the framework, we needed to do the water part. So this old radiator has a lot of valves and openings and whatsoever, so we need to make this thing to our needs. So the first thing we needed to do was making this thing watertight, because we don't want any leakages on our mining rigs, of course, that would be really bad. So we just started cutting pipes and fitting them onto the car radiator with a lot of trouble and fittings because it was pretty hard to figure out how much fittings we needed to fit onto the car radiator and then go to the household pipes let's say. And yeah, it was really tough to get this part done so I'm really glad that we finished it. Also bending the pipes was really risky because if you bend it too much you can just throw it away because then it will just like snap. And of course we also have a wood shop in our house. This is just amazing, we can make everything we want. So we decided to make the first front panel with the pipelines because we're gonna test if it's gonna leak. But if it's gonna leak, well then the water is gonna spray against the wooden board and not straight into our computer fans and electronic parts. Okay, so now he's gonna start cutting uh, while the machine was on. and and. I always watch YouTube videos and people say don't try this at home, but what he's gonna do now, I wouldn't do it. Moving the machine while you're cutting. Okay, so now that he didn't lose his fingers and whatsoever, no blood on the, on the, on the board, we started sticking it onto the side and it was going pretty well. Uh, in, in the start it was... Uh, a little bit hard to do but uh, you know a few screws can do everything this is probably one of the first videos where i fully show myself on youtube that's pretty exciting right so the next step is to add some valves onto the pipelines and test it for leakages so that's gonna be for the next video so hopefully you all enjoyed this video today see you guys in the next one